this Horowitz performance? What do you hear? Well, first of all, just the fact that it's there, you know, that that's his encore is part of what, you know, makes this mystique. I mean, here's someone who plays pictures at an exhibition and completely transforms it in his own transcription. You know, then he plays a Scarlatti, and he transforms Scarlatti almost as much as he transforms Mussorgsky, Tromra. I mean, each piece he remakes in his own language, and, and to me, that's who he was. He said, it's, there's music there, but I am the performer, and I make it my own, and I can make anything my own, from Mussorgsky to, you know, to, uh, to John Philip Sousa, it's all, you know, it's all just for the creative mill, and I, the interpreter, are what counts here. Bob Sherman, your mother was a concert pianist. What did she think of Horowitz? She admired Horowitz enormously. She thought that this was a man of incredible virtuosity and, and insight. But if truth be told, she much preferred Arthur Rubinstein. Hmm. She had the same kind of warmth and natural sound that Rubinstein preferred, and they were much closer in, in compatibility, I would say, than Horowitz. There was an extroverted quality, an over-extroverted quality about Horowitz, and um, a more intimate quality about your mother's playing, about Rubinstein's playing. I would think that's a fair statement, exactly. Yeah. Whenever I hear Horowitz, I hear perfection. And I remember that's what I heard in him in the 60s, and that's what I always went to hear him hear in him, and in a way, what I hear, heard in Rubinstein was imperfection. And one thing that, that in fact, Rubinstein spoke to me more uh, because it was, there was a, a joie de vivre in what he played, and if he lost a few notes, that was just fine. With Horowitz, there was such a, an aura of control that it was beyond mere mortals to aspire to, and I think that's why people slept, uh, they stood out in the street for days to hear him, whereas I only had to uh, spend one night in the street waiting for Rubenstein <laughs> tickets. Yeah, and you know, you, you, when you listen to the, some of those runs in the Masorxy, you almost want to hear a wrong note. There's something just bizarre Never. that none of the notes you are wrong. And he lifts the pedal, it. so you can't miss it. I mean, you literally hear each of these notes in the run, and it's perfect, and you're going, somewhere he has to miss a note, but he doesn't.